हरे कृष्णा मेडिटेशन ऑन स्पेस स्पेस इज अज आउट नव डेज मेडिटेशन इज बिकमिंग ट्रेंडी एंड गिवन द लिबरल टिनोर ऑफ द एज पीपल वॉन्ट टू डू थिंग्स दे लाइक टू डू एंड दे वॉन्ट टू डू इट द वे दे वॉन्ट टू डू दम सो इवन मेडिटेशन many people are not interested in following any traditional direction for meditation so one idea within meditation is you can meditate on meditate on whatever you want meditate on anything that you find within your situation so some people start meditating on space just look at the vastness of space all around you now yes as compared to the busyness of the life around and as if we look at the big picture if we look at the vastness of space we can get some perspective oh i don't have to take the small ups and downs of life see so seriously they'll come they will go the world is much bigger than me and my small concerns so in that sense it can give us some perspective however ultimately we need a fulfilling object for our meditation otherwise we may just go from one kind of illusion to another kind of illusion so meditating or being obsessed with the various objects in this world is one kind of agitation one kind of illusion oh this will give me pleasure that will give me pleasure that will give me pleasure oh that is causing me trouble that is causing me trouble so this is illusion but when we start meditating on space if at all somebody could meditate on space and stay absorbed which itself is quite difficult because it might just give us some relief when we are caught in the busyness and the burdensomeness of many of our daily activities but after that what is there to meditate in space it just relief from the negative there is no entry into anything positive just like a at a physical level if we are sick and we have pain then the move when we move our hands we feel pain so you may think if i can just stop motion i'll be free from pain yes that's true if we stop motion we will be free from pain but for how long can we live without motion as soon as our pain stops a few moments later we would want to move we want to do something now our goal our purpose is not just to be pain pain free our purpose is to be purposeful to be productive to do something positive so what applies at the physical level also applies at the mental level when our mind is agitated just stopping the thoughts about whatever is agitating might help but that's like stopping motion to get relief from pain but what do we direct our thoughts towards in a positive direction the bhagavad gita talks about the process of yoga in in the sixth chapter wherein the yogis withdraw their consciousness from outer agitating objects but then the culmination of this process is to direct the consciousness for meditating on the indwelling lord on the all attract supreme on krishna yoginam api sarvesham madgate nantaratmana shraddhavan bhajate yo mam same yukta tamo mataha krishna says among all the yogis the topmost are those who become absorbed in him why because he is the all attractive font of love when we connect with him he is all attractive and he's all loving and thus in meditating on him in connecting with him we relish endless newness endless joyfulness and endless love that is the meditation that can give us unending satisfaction thank you hare krishna